guys, how's it going? You voted, I delivered, and this is not the finish look. <laughs> uh, I am here to give you a warning slash disclaimer that the video that you're about to see, um, we had some major, major technical difficulties. Everything that possibly could have gone wrong in this video went wrong. Everything from my mic dying, I forgot to film some sections because my camera died, it, it was a mess. So please bear with me in this video. I did fix the problem, obviously. So sit back and relax and enjoy your voted look. So let's get started. First, you're gonna take your hair into this super cute ponytail. And a little sip of DP to get started. Next, I'm gonna take my BioBell Facial Primer Mask and apply it to the skin. And as you can very well see, the struggle was definitely real trying to apply this mask. Am I beautiful yet? Now we're just going to wait about five minutes for this mask to process. This mask has tea tree oil, rose hip extract, vitamin C. It's supposed to enhance radiance, minimize pores, and even skin tone. Ah, flawless. Now I'm going to be going in with my It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. This is in the shade medium, in case you were curious. Now this is the Temp2 BoxyCharm collaboration. It is a liquid highlight. I'm just gonna be applying this to my foundation to create more of a luminous appearance to the skin. And now buffing that in with my favorite Morphe brush. This shade ended up being just a pinch too light for me, so I go back in with some little droplets here just to kind of uh, enhance that skin tone just a little bit. And buffing that out once again. And this shade ended up still being a little bit too light, but don't worry, we're gonna fix it with bronzer and contour a little bit later. Now I'm taking my Beauty Blender and I'm just kind of patting that into the skin so that it sits right in instead of on top. Now for eyebrows. I'm magical. Now I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral and I'm just going to apply it under the eyes, down the nose, on the forehead, and well, you get the idea. Tribal makeup. And now I'm patting this out with my Beauty Blender. As I've said before, a little bit of this product goes a very long way. So don't be upset by the very small bottle. I'm taking my Cody Airspun Translucent Loose Setting Powder and I'm just going to set under the eyes from where we just put down that concealer. Now in a little bit I'm going to be showing you a little trick with this. That's why I'm applying that really, really thickly to the under eye. It's going to be catching any fallout that we happen to have from those shadows and also creates the shape of the sort of eyeshadow that we want. I'm also setting my eyes with the setting powder. Now going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This is the Modern Renaissance palette for those that don't know. And I'm taking the shade Real Gar 
and applying that as my transition shade. And then I go in with Love Letter on a packing brush, sorry, fluffy brush, and I'm just going to be applying that to deepen the crease a little bit. Now this may look really, really messy to some, but don't worry, we're fixing to cut the crease so you won't even notice. Now I go in with a clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to kind of meld those two colors together and blend just a little bit more. I then go back into that Rilgar shade because I sort of lost some of that brightness from the orange and I wanted to intensify the color a little bit. Once again, taking my Tarte Shape Tape, I'm going to be putting that on a small concealer brush and then I'm just going to be carving out that cut crease. Now you want to go really, really slow at this part because, yeah, if you have hooded eyes like me, the struggle will be so real for you. This is the part in the video where things started to go super haywire for me. hooded eyes as you can see the struggle is every time you open your eye more concealer keeps going up on your top lid so you just kind of have to keep raising it until yeah you get the idea but in the end you know it looked like a cut crease sigh of relief to be done now I'm going in with the Naked Cosmetics palette in the, the palettes called the Urban Rustic palette. And this also came in BoxyCharm. I'm going to be taking this burnt orange shade and I sprayed it with a little bit of setting spray just to intensify that color a little bit. And I'm packing that onto the middle of the cut crease. Next, I'm taking this gold shade in the palette. I'm getting sunburned from Wet n Wild. Also spraying that with my setting spray on that same packing brush. I'm just gonna be applying that to the front of the cut crease. The idea here is to create sort of an ombre effect, which you'll see here in a little bit. It took me a while to sort of build up the color of the gold shade. It is very pigmented, but for some reason it just wasn't quite translating the way I wanted it to on the eyelid. Now I'm dipping back into that Naked uh, Cosmetics palette, into that purpley shade that you see there. For some reason, this color, I don't know what was going on. I never typically have problems with this color, but for some reason, it would not blend. I don't know what was happening, but I tried, guys. I tried. And now I'm dipping back into those previous shades and I'm just going to apply that along the seams of the color just to create more of that gradient like we were, you know, going for originally. 
Now I'm taking these Stila Magnificent Metals in Kitty Karma and applying that to the inner corner to add some added glamour. And now I'm taking my fluffy brush, and this is the awesome trick I was going to show you. So you're going to flick out in big sweeping motions, and look, no fallout. It's amazing. It's a miracle. It's awesome. Now I'm going to apply some falsies, winged eyeliner, and mascara. Now I'm going to be taking my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula, and yes, I totally broke it. And I'm going to be warming up the skin a little bit, so hopefully my skin will begin to match my body. You can totally blame the self-tanner on that one, guys, but that is for another video that I am working on currently. highlight and contour palette from IBY Beauty or Ibby Beauty, something like that. This is also a BoxyCharm product. And I'm just going to be taking that on a dense fan brush for contouring. This is the Ulta Beauty Blush and Bunny, I believe. And I'm just going to be adding that to the cheeks for some additional color since I am so kind of washed out looking, I guess. Now I'm taking my favorite highlighter of all time. This is the Ofra Rodeo Drive. And I'm gonna be spraying my brush and dipping into that product to intensify that color because girl, we be glowing. We want to glow from the heavens, from the rooftops. Everybody must see us glow. Just taking some of that highlight down the bridge of my nose, the cupid's bow, and underneath the chin. Or lips, I should say. That's not my chin. Now I'm taking my Ofra liquid lip. This is in the shade Tuscany. And this is the most gorgeous berry lip I have ever used, ever. And that is all she wrote. this is the final look thank you so much for continuing to watch my videos and if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see next please list it below in the comment section and thank you for liking commenting and subscribing give this a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave thanks guys